Well, does it seem like you're seeing fewer bees when spending time outside? You might not even have noticed, or you might be thinking that's a good thing because sometimes they can be considered a nuisance. But in the world of agriculture, they're a necessity and one that's being wiped out at alarming rates. Some people are taking it upon themselves to help the honeybee. The honeybees now in danger of disappearing. Catastrophe for American farmers. Millions of bees are dying. Bees are simply disappearing. TV news reports, newspaper articles, and feature-length documentaries all focused on the plight of the honeybee. Bees even made the cover of Time magazine. <laughs> Unfortunately, most of the buzz is negative, a die-off of massive proportions. United States Department of Agriculture researchers estimate nearly one-third of managed colonies in the U.S. were lost during the winter of 2012. The culprit is called CCD, or Colony Collapse Disorder. It's a, a phenomenon where a lot of bees die off suddenly, and it doesn't have one specific cause. Why all of the attention? According to the Natural Resources Defense Council, bees pollinate over 100 types of crops worth over $15 billion and produce over $150 million of honey in the U.S. annually. In Arkansas, all you have to do to see the importance of the honeybee is to visit a local farmer's market. Melons, blueberries, peaches, and squash, just a few of the crops that rely on the bee. But while most of the national attention is on the bee's decline, here in the natural state, not all of the news is bad. It has not affected beekeepers in Arkansas quite as much as it has in, in other places. It hasn't really hit the hobbyist beekeepers quite as hard. John Zavishlock is the honeybee specialist for the University of Arkansas Cooperative Extension Service. He says all of the added publicity has had another positive effect. All the extra media attention on the decline of honeybees has certainly made people uh, more, maybe more aware of bees. It's focused attention on honeybees in particular as something that uh, you can add to your backyard. And that's exactly what's happening. More and more Arkansans are adding bees to their backyards and gardens. I've always been fascinated by bees. Carla Hazelwood lives in West Little Rock and is relatively new to beekeeping. After taking a beginner's class a few months ago, she decided to introduce two hives to her other backyard residents. I also have chickens, and they're so low maintenance, and yet they're very productive. They give me eggs, and then the bees are productive and give me honey, and yet I don't have to be on top of them all the time, and I don't have to have 10 acres to have beehives. Steve Turner of Cabot started out adding hives to benefit his garden and trees, but now has taken it a step further and started extracting swarms from the area and adding them to his inventory. First spring, we started with a couple of hives, and we that first summer, I think we grew to seven and then uh, the next year we went to 18 and have, I think we're at 50 now. It started out as, as a hobby and we just ended up liking it so much that we just go you know see where it takes us. The beekeeping craze has even hit the governor's mansion. First Lady Ginger Beebe recently added these hives so they can make their own honey. Oh, we had a group of bees who made their home in the pergola which is in the parterre garden and we had to get a beekeeper to come and get them out. And we received uh, so much honey from that one hive, and it made us start thinking that we could do this here. And in April, we got our first bees. She says the bees have been a welcome addition to the gardens at the governor's mansion and hopes they help raise awareness about beekeeping. She did have some concerns initially about the bees and how they might affect tours at the mansion, but she says it hasn't been an issue. They're not in their space. And the bees are busy, they're working. So uh, we haven't had any um, negative effects from having the bees. I think it's kind of uh, piqued everyone's interest that we have them here and they can have them in their own backyard. And it's just so interesting. I, I think we can all learn a lot from bees if we really study them. We're gonna saw back and forth. Studying bees and getting children interested in beekeeping was the goal at the Hillary Clinton Library last week. Many kids are scared of bees. Okay, you can let go now. And learning about them helps ease those fears. And the fresh honey with their biscuits doesn't hurt either. This grassroots approach, combined with the rise in beekeeping popularity, seems destined to keep the bees' future from going up in smoke.
President Obama created a task force just last month to address the issue of rapidly diminishing honeybees and other pollinators spearheaded by the EPA and the Department of Agriculture. So it's a serious issue. Yeah, I love the First Lady's response, though, when you talk about worried about a bee stinging you. The bees are busy. They are. They're working. You know, I used to yeah. be, I was terrified of bees when I was a kid, but I have a whole new respect for them after doing this. Yeah, there's nothing like local honey. That's there's true. There's no question about yeah. it.